Friday the 18th of May, my name's Steve Buswell and you're watching Axe's News Broadcast. Let's start with the technical outlook for the Euro dollar. Price will rebound soon from support S1 and retest daily pivot. After that, sustained rise will focus on R1 resistance. Rise may be limited at this level, but break above will open towards next resistance at R2. Based on the conclusions for each indicator, we're expecting a bearish trend. After that, according to the outlook for the dollar yen, the current correction will probably continue towards daily pivot and above that, price will continue and decline and focus on S1 support, and further fall towards S2 isn't excluded. Sustained rise above daily pivot will negate previous conclusions and target will be at R1 resistance. Subsequently, the dollar yen will continue in a lateral move and a vast majority of our indicators expect a bearish trend. Next up is the sterling dollar. We can expect price will continue to decline and support S1 towards next objective at S2 support. Further fall towards S3 isn't excluded. Rebound from first support will focus on retesting daily pivot and will negate previous conclusions. Based on actually chosen indicators, we can assume a bearish trend. Finally, our outlook for the dollar franc. If price holds above daily pivot, we can expect rise towards resistance R1. If price holds its momentum, rise above this level will be indicating next objective at R2, where price will probably rebound and correction will be in favor. A vast majority of our indicators and chart analysis assume a bullish trend. Today we only actually have one news, and it concerns German PPI which will really be released at 7am GMT. It's expected rise 0.4% compared to a previous 0.6% rise. Moreover, medium impact on the euro can be awaited. And before we finish, Axtry brings you a short overview of the best traders on Axtry, giving you the opportunity to join their strategies. Glimpsy and Teo's strategy in MirrorTrader remained unchanged from yesterday, but PM Invest Capital fell 120.3 pips and remains in first place. V9 Direct strategy in MultiTrader continued to decline and fell 18.3%. But on the upside, Forex Gam rose 1.8%. Moving next to trade leaders where LW Trading rose 23% and Johnny Jang added 2%. 10% rise was recorded in Whitestone Asset strategy but isn't enough to beat Johnny Jang in second place. And on this day in 2005, a second photo from the Hubble Space Telescope confirms that Pluto has two additional moons. We wish you a great day's trading, a great weekend and we'll see you on Monday.